undesirable posture. <laughs> <laughs> that does not look comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, Andre, what's the what's the last month been like for you? Um. been tough but you know staying positive through it all um, just dealing with it personally this is my first injury I've actually gone through it's been out longer than a month so uh, just a slight adjustment um, and uh, you know just trying wanting to be out there with my guys you know fighting every game and um, just knowing what they're going through so it's kind of similar to what we went through the early on in the season with the adversity so I'm um, just figuring out a way um, to get through it all and stay positive so Andre, we haven't talked to you since the day of the injury. Can you take us back to that moment, sort of thoughts in your head, what you were feeling, thinking, all that sort of thing? Um, I just had a bad feeling about the game early on before it happened, but um, I, didn't, I didn't obviously know what would happen. But, um, yeah, um, coming out of timeout, um, me and Russ talked about the back door alley you and we always do. And, up like 30. So I get kind of coached into the game and call the play. And yeah, I planted, and just heard a big pop and kind of, yeah, ruptured. And I kind of knew at the moment what happened. Uh, when, when I looked down, I kind of, yeah, kind of solidified it. But um, yeah, it was, that's pretty much it. Yeah. You, you'd been through obviously some, some issues with recovery and trying to, you know, improve knees and stuff, but yeah. had you ever felt anything close to the pain, the instantaneous nah, of all that? No, nothing, nothing. Okay. I mean, other than an ankle sprain, nothing, really. Um, I kind of tweaked it in a Milwaukee game, in the Milwaukee game. Came down funky on it, um, which had me sit off like three, three, four weeks there. Um, but other than that, no, nothing serious is matter to uh, Billy's talked about, and with any injury like this, the, one of the hardest things is staying involved and feeling like a part of everything. Yeah. And he's talked about trying to have you in, in video and film with some of these guys. What's that process been like, just in terms of trying to feel still connected? Um, it's definitely tough. Um, but you know, I'm doing everything I can to stay involved. Um, being around the guys just makes me feel, you know, not alone. Cause half the time, I'm, I'm alone, four walls here by myself doing rehab with somebody one-on-one -on -one and, um, you know, just just that instantaneous, you know, switch over from being around the guys, being around a whole bunch of people to nothing is definitely different, but it's challenging. Uh, and that's what I'm all about, you know, accepting and taking on challenges uh, and getting better with it. Uh, but, you know, like I said, just being with, being around film, uh, practice, talking to the guys, uh, telling the guys what I see out there on the court. Um, and, you know, soon I'll be traveling, so, I feel a lot. Better. I feel a lot better when it happens. The has night been, of, Has there been something kind of surprising about that process when you look at it from afar? When you hear about guys being disconnected, you're like, "That'll never be me." And then you're kind of in the moment, and you're feeling different things that kind of keep you. Uh, going. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's kind of how I feel about this injury. I was like, "Yo, I see all these people getting hurt," and I was like, "Boom!" I was like, "You never know uh, until it happens to you." Um, but. You know, I'm staying positive. Um, every day is a challenge. When I take it one day at a time, I call it the slow grind. That's the reason why I'm growing out this. <laughs> I've grown it out my, my whole life, so I call it the slow grind. Um, so, uh, yeah, day at a time. Um, get better with it. Challenges up here. Adversity, kind of similar to what we're going to as a team. And it's just um, my own thing I got going on right now. So, uh, to get back on the court with my guys. Is you it hard on any level that, like, like defensively is really where the struggles have been since you went out and you have to kind of sit and watch as the guys, as your team struggles defensively. Does that make it harder knowing that, that it's your specialty is kind of the area of struggle? Um, not really. Uh, we, we got guys out there that can do the same, uh, bring the energy, the intensity. Um, uh, and it's the next man up mentality. Um, you know, I believe in our guys to go out there and get it done. Um, it's just a slight adjustment, um, you know, losing – Somebody on our team is always uh, tough, but you know we adjust just like things in life. You adjust and, and move on from it, um, and that's what we got to do right now. Is just uh, got to learn how to play a different way. Um, but it's good, you know. It's good for us right now. Um, 
I believe when my guys get a goal, I didn't get it done every night. Um, had a good game coming up against the Clippers, so uh, it'll be good. You and your guys bro. around you when when the injury happened, um, Stephen, Paul George, just a lot of guys on the team. What what did that mean to you to have those guys stay with you uh, uh, when you went down on the floor? That meant a lot, man. Um, you know, obviously we're all in this together. Uh, you know, call it a family, big brotherhood. And that's exactly what it is, man. Uh, you never want to see somebody go down, um, no matter who it is, an opponent. You never want to see an injury happen, man. And, my brothers from day one, so um, you know we're all in, all in this together, and you know I stick by my side, I stick by this side, so it's kind of how it works. You Speaking of, you don't want to see the team struggle. I mean, just you being a, a good teammate and a Thunder player. Yeah. But you know, throughout your career, people have been critical of your your offensive contributions. They've even been critical of your defensive work. To step away from it and be away from it for a time, and to see. What's happened to the team since you left in terms of the offense and the defense? Does it does it feel kind of vindicating in terms of what you bring to the court? Um, uh, no, I don't really, I don't really buy into all that noise. To be honest, man, I just go out there, do my job, do what coach asks me to do, and just fight for my teammates. Honestly, uh, I play this game for fun. I don't really care about the accolades. I care. I go out there and win, try to win every night, and you know, help my guys any way I can. To be honest, and uh. All the other stuff is just noise, to be honest. So, yeah. What's you and your have you heard from the fans? Uh, just here, you know, get healthy soon. Uh, got a lot of cards. Uh, get well soon. Uh, stay positive. Um, um, stuff like that. So, um, it's definitely greatly appreciated. You and your brother both had those injuries at like the same time. What's mm -hmm. that like for your family? Like just at that time when dealing with both of you guys. Yeah. Oh, uh, that, that was definitely a whirlwind. I think he happened. It's happened like. Uh, a day or two before. Um, funny thing is, I was like joking with him about it, like, yo, like, <laughs> you hurt, like, um, and then boom, two days later it happened to me. So uh, we kind of had, we kind of laughed about that in, in our own way. Um, but it was kind of crazy for our family. Um, kind of a whirlwind, just nothing, uh, nothing really serious happening like this in our family before. and. Let alone me and my brother, uh, it's our two first significant injuries and have around the same time. So, I mean, we're, we're firm believers and everything happens for a reason. Um, and later on in life, you'll find out why. But, um, you know, we're just sticking through it uh, together. And that's kind of like my rehab partner. Um, you know, we're kind of like, you know, battling with each other who can get, who can get uh, healed faster. So, uh, it's kind of a battle. It's cool. I can go through it with him. Yeah, you, know, you guys are, you guys have always been super close. Like, what, what is that? relationship like now that like when you guys are going through rehab are you actually working out together like what is what is that like oh uh, no he stays he stays at my house um comes over a lot um hang out a lot together i mean it's pretty much me and him uh just chilling um but he's still doing school um so he rehabs pretty much over there um with them uh but pretty soon when we're up both on our feet um we'll be working out together anything stand together. out to you about something your teammates or staff or anybody around here who've kind of done something special for you the last month or so any uh any small surprises uh, or, or anything funny that the guys have done no man um just just the support that i get from everybody it's uh it's definitely special um they mean a lot to me they, i mean a lot to them it's kind of like a big family and uh it really shows um you know um support is just always great uh, for, for me in my eyes um it's something that uh you know, I hold near and dear to my heart. Um, so um, it's great. I mean, it's basically a big family, and I appreciate the, everybody that's done it for me. Eric asked about the, the moments after you got hurt, about the guys that came over, and I'll forever have that picture of Steven sitting on the court mm -hmm. next to you for basically that whole time. Have you seen that video? Do you think about I mean, I know you guys both being such defensive-minded guys. I'm yeah. sure there's a synergy there. You came in at the same time, all that stuff. but. Was that something that will stand with you for a long time? Uh, definitely. Um, I have not seen the video, um, other than me looking at what had happened, how I did it. Mm -hmm. um, not the aftermath. But not the aftermath. Mm -hmm. I have not. Um, but I do remember, obviously, what I what I've experienced and sure. my surroundings. Uh, definitely, Steve was right there with me, side by side, my buddy since day one. So, um, you know, we go through a lot together, and this is just one of those. Uh, Things we'll get through. So, which, which is tough, the, 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 the mental part or the physical part of rehab? Uh, it's definitely the mental part. Um, you know, staying positive. 
um, uh, just tell yourself, you know, day by day, get through it, and uh, you know, just grind it out. You know, I try to find things that kind of help me get 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 the time pass, and especially uh, through the pain stages, uh, which were which were the worst times by, by far. Um, but yeah, uh, mental part for sure. Staying positive, um, just trying to stay engaged with the team with my guys. Um, just watching the game and kind of helping any way I can, um, and still trying to be a part of the team, um, which is easy but hard at the same time. But yeah, mental is definitely hard. Sure. What stage are you at? Yeah. You, you what stage about, are you, you at in the uh, in the rehab process in terms of what you what you can do and physically and what are you doing right now? Uh, not much. Um, it's kind of like the foundation stage, um, just letting everything kind of heal the right way. Um, do slow bends, little quad contractions, kind of trying to keep it alive, keep the muscle going, um, kind of keep the blood circulation, not get any blood clots, um, stuff like that. Um, and just slowly getting back to um, my movement stages. Um, slow bend, walking, straight leg, of course. Um, just stuff like that. And it's only a month and a half, so i uh, got a long way to go. You've talked about Last tuning out the noise. Do you feel like kind of when you're now in this, these still stages, there might be a different type of noise that's creeping up that you've had to learn to like kind of push it out of the way as well? What do you mean by that? Just in terms of you mentioned outside noise, and now when you're not you know, playing, and is there like mental stuff kind of that you have to work on at the same time? Um, with myself personally? Yeah. Uh, for sure. Um, Said staying engaged with my team, staying engaged in my process, um, and trusting it. Um, just not trying to do too much, not don't do too little. Um, just stuff like that. Um, it's, it's a very tedious process. Um, and it's a day by day thing, and uh, um, just gotta take it day at a time. Like I said, and block out anything and everything that's gonna distract me from getting better day by day. So, yeah.